What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl gossip girl here. And today I am coming at you with a story. Okay, I am coming at you with a story, honey. Honey, honey. Um, and the reason why I'm kind of excited about it because it is funny, but then it's not funny at the same time. I don't know if you guys saw the viral video with the twisted tea can. It's so many memes out there. I will put them in my commentary during this video. And I'll also try to put the video at the end of my commentary so you can see what happened. Um, if I can't do that, for some reason, if I can't find the link for it or download it, I will have the link in the description box and in the comment section so you can see it, okay? Now, it all started in a Circle K in Ohio when this white man kept saying the N-word over and over and over and he was being very belligerent so there was a guy standing in line and he was like look i hope he's gone by the time i get up there but he wasn't and i'm going to read you the interview of the man that he that went viral um beating the other guy with the um, twisted tea can and the guy kept going so he had that can in his hand when he put it up there um the guy kept going he took the can and he commenced to beating the mess out of him with that can. I mean, he knocked him off his feet. So, listen, I, you know, he got what he deserved. You can't be doing that, you know? You can't be doing that. So, let's get into this interview real quick because um, Mark One Sports has interviewed um, the man Barry Allen, okay? So, it says here, an Ohio, an Ohio man who has become a known as TKO, okay, and it's spelled T A K O, is shedding more light on the viral video, um, the Twisted T video. Barry Allen gained national attention this month for the way he handled a belligerent white man at a circle K in Ohio. Cell phone footage shows Allen, a black man, confronting the white man over his repeated use of the N word. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. The exchange become increasingly intense with Allen eventually using a can of twisted tea to smack the man off his feet. Hence the name TKO. Allen discussed the video, the viral incident, during a recent appearance on Mark One Sports, recalling the events that led up to the insane smacking. He claims he had saw the white man standing with some other men as he kept calling two black employees the N-word. Allen said he intentionally ignored it and hoped the white man would leave the store before he was ready to pay for his items. I'm like, all right, let's just hope he leaves by the time I get up there, he said. And he's still there, still saying the word like he was just a normal black guy having fun with all of his buddies, just chilling. And you can tell by the employees' faces, they wasn't feeling it either. But they can't say much because they'll put their job in jeopardy. Me, I didn't feel that way, he said. Allen said he then told the white man to cut it out, which apparently triggered him. He's like, man, I say in whenever I want. Leave me alone. Allen continued. I'm like, come on, stop saying the effing word. You're really pissing me off now. Allen said the man then started putting on a tough guy act and wouldn't stop shouting. But there was one particular moment that caused the heated exchange to go from verbal to physical when Allen accidentally dropped his can of twisted tea. That's when I picked it up and he goes to kick it. Okay. He really didn't kick me, but I felt the kick coming. So I just reacted. At that point, that's it. That's all. <laughs> Allen then said the man had left by the time he was done paying and said he was initially concerned about the legal repercussions. However, the white man reportedly declined to press charges. The video was recorded by another customer who posted it online immediately after Allen said the woman behind the camera gave him a high five before he left and got in his car and called his wife. By the time I got in the car and started moving and backing out and got on the road, I'm telling my wife I hit a guy in the face with a can. He called. She's like, I know I'm watching it. The lady had 5,000 views by the time I drove two blocks home. Jeez, it went viral that quick. 
she had 5,000 videos by the time, I mean, views by the time he was going home. See, okay. When you do stupid things, be ready for what's coming, okay? See, these white guys, and not, well, and not only white guys, some white girls who feel as if they can say the N-word. Now, let me just tell you this. I don't like it when my own people say it. I can't stand that word. I hate it. I don't like it. But I can't tell people what to do. But when I do see someone who's not of color saying it, it makes my blood boil even more. Even though we, we shouldn't be saying the word anyway. I don't like it. I can't stand it. Okay? But you can't tell people what to say. But the way this man is saying it and he's using it and he's and he's putting on a tough guy act, you get what I'm saying? He didn't expect for it to get a whooping, okay, which I'm glad he did get that whooping. You can't say what you want. And that's the problem with some white people. They feel like they can say and do what they want to do without anything happening to them. So when they start getting um, beat down for opening their mouths, for saying ignorant stuff, then maybe they'll stop. But honey, he took that twisted tea can and he knocked him off his feet. I was like, yo, this is crazy. He, he, I don't feel sorry for the white guy. I don't. I don't feel sorry for him at all. I don't feel sorry for him at all. Because you shouldn't have did that. You shouldn't have said that out your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Punks jump up to get beat down. And what he got was a twisted tea, tea can beat down okay t k o finish him <laughs> but for real though when you go watch the video come back here and let me know do you feel the guy was in the right i felt I, he was in the right he was in the right there's no that barry allen was in the right he was in the right i'm glad he i'm glad he did what he did i i'm glad i'm glad he did what he had to do, and he finished him. And the guy, okay, okay, uh, okay. He done got rocked and sopped, okay, and dropped. And he get up staggering, okay, look at his buddy. Where's his buddy's at now? His buddies didn't help him, you know, because they knew he was wrong for saying that. You're going to act tough, and you're going to say, I'll say the N-word whenever I want. Well, that N-word just cost you to get your ass whooped. How about that? How about that? But anyway, you guys go ahead over. If I don't, if you don't see the video, come on after this commentary. Then I'll have the link down below um, in the comment section and in the description box. Okay? I'm going to try to pull the video for you. But if I can't, I'll have it in the description. Okay? All right, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, video today. If you can, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please hit the subscribe button and put your notification bell on so you'll be notified when your favorite homegirl upload to the channel, okay? Share it. It doesn't cost much to share the video. It doesn't cost anything to share. Actually, it doesn't cost anything to hit the subscribe button. If you want to. If you're feeling the, if you're feeling the girl, okay? If you're feeling me, you know, hit the subscribe button. But anyway, I'm going to get up out of here. I'll be back later with some more, um content okay look out for that and i will talk to you guys later have a good one Smack. Come on, yeah. Drop it.